everyone. Nice to see you again. Welcome to our class. And I'm teacher Rielin, your arts teacher. In the next lesson, you will learn traditional puppet show. You will also know how complicated it is made and how complex a puppeteer he used to it in his show. Also, if you love to make kites and play with it, you will surely enjoy one of our topics here. It's another kind of kite and a different design. And again, how intricate it is made. The last one is a different kind of cup. And a lot of people wear especially men. If you near live in Bikutan, Baklaran, or Quiapo, you will notice many men or boys wear it every day. So again, let's explore the wonderful craftsmanship of our neighbor in Southeast Asia. And now, let's go to Indonesia. Shadow Puppet is famous in Indonesia. Wayang, in a modern Indonesian language, means show or perform. Kulit means skin, reference to the leather materials that a figure are carved out of. Others say that wayang is also attributed to the Indonesian word bayang, which means shadow. Puppet are moved behind the cotton or linen screen by a dalang or a puppet master. In a shadow puppet place, the dialogue tells the story, interpret, and voices each character, producing sound's effect with his speech and movement and manipulates all the figures between the lamp in the screen to bring the shadows to life. Most shadow play is based on two epic stories from India. The Mahabharata and the Ramayana. The Balinese and Javanese have combined the Hindu stories with Buddhist and Muslim ideas mixed with their own folklore. And now let's fly to Brunei. The Songkok also called PC or Kopia, is a cup widely worn in Indonesia, Brunei, Malaysia, Singapore, the Southern Philippines, and the Southern Thailand. Mostly among Muslim males, informal gatherings such as wedding feast, funeral, festival occasions such as Muslim Eid al Fitr, and Eid al Adha. The Songko came to be associated with Islam in Malaysia, while the Indonesia PC is also associated with nationalist secular movement. There are three categories of Brunei Darussalam men's headgear. They are the following. Destor, which is a piece of cloth tied around the head. Then number two, Songko or Kopia, a type of cup made from velvet. Number three, Tengkolok or Servan, which resembles a turban and is a typical headdresses in the Middle East. Let's have an activity. Read the direction carefully. That's all for today. I hope you learned something from our lesson. See you next time. God bless. Keep safe and thank you.